The 2010 Vortex F1 The recently concluded SEMA Auto Show was eventful for a number of reasons. First, there were the usual suspects of automakers and aftermarket tuners bringing their latest tricked-out and tuned-up vehicles. Then there were the lesser-known folks who, despite not having room on the showroom floor, still managed to strut their stuff outside in the parking lot. Then there are the surprise appearances. Companies that you didn't know would come, and some you didn't even know existed, only to make an appearance at the event with a car that immediately grabbed people's attentions. Folks, that's how the Vortex F1's time at SEMA came to be. Details after the jump. Exterior and interior. True to being a full-blown sports car, the Vortex F1 is going to be built with some pretty high-grade materials. The car's body will be constructed using a combination of fiberglass and aluminum. For the really rich folks who aren't satisfied with either material, carbon fiber is an optional material that can be used. The car will also come with a set of 17-inch wheels that ride on two sets of tires for the front and back 275 40th series tires and 315 35ths rubber, respectively. As for the ultimate version of the Vortex F1, the body will be made exclusively with carbon fiber with upgraded features, including the tires, brake wheels, carbon fiber seats, and a sequential six-speed gearbox. Performance the Vortex F1 gets its power from an upgraded version of the General's turbocharged 2.0-liter Ecotec Inland 4 engine that's aligned to a 6-speed transmission. Power output for the standard version comes at 290 horsepower and 340 pounds per foot of torque. Meanwhile, the Ultimate version will see an uptick in power with figures hitting 330 horsepower and 360 pounds per foot of torque. The racer will weigh somewhere around the neighborhood of 1,400 pounds with an estimated 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 2.7 seconds and a quarter mile run time of 10.5 seconds while clocking speeds of around 130 miles per hour. Competition We heard that Top Gear USA would soon run a comparison segment between the Vortex F1 and the Aerial Atom in a future episode of the show. Guess that answers the question of competition, huh? Pricing Seeing as the car will come in two versions, the price tag for each model varies as well. For the standard version of the Vortex F1, interested buyers would have to shell out $45,995. As for the ultimate version, customers will have to drop another $20,000 with the sticker price of $69,995. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.